Welcome, Star Wars fans, to another episode of The Escape Pod. I am your host, Mitchell Smith, and with me today is Carl Eicher. Hi, guys and gals. And Ron Town. Hey, gang. All right, so... Gang, that's what I should have said. On this episode, (laughs) we're going to discuss... Boom. What Darth Maul was doing before episode one. Do you guys remember the line in Phantom Menace where Darth Maul says... At last, we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last, we'll have revenge. Was that his only line in the movie? Because That I, was one of his only lines. I don't actually remember. So he's that. like... Literally the only thing he Yeah, says. that's the only thing he says. This book basically just gives you more backstory on that and makes that scene a little bit deeper. So basically... They really are stri- taking just like one line and just trying to stretch this. <laughs> well, listen to the story and then you can judge it. So basically it starts off... That's fair. And it brings everything together because it starts off and Darth Maul is fighting the Wrath Tar. You know, those like roly-poly droids, or not droids, the aliens, those big aliens that Han Solo was smuggling in Episode 7. Sure. Yep. He's basically fighting them, but he's so badass, he doesn't even need a lightsaber. He's just got like a spear and he's like spearing these dudes and he's just like murdering them really hard. He's a fan of getting the blood on him. You know, yeah, so that's how it opens up. Kill. Really cool scene. You don't get that with lightsabers. No, you don't. And then... And then it cuts to him on Coruscant, and then he's, like, following some Jedi. And then he's, like, so, you know, what are they, these Jedi wait, doing? Wait, does he have the face paint on at this point? Yeah, he's got... It's so, not face paint. That's so, a skin. So nobody's like, nobody's like, hey, who's this guy that looks like the devil No, he's, here, like, in the shadows. Around. He's, like, in the shadows. Okay. He's, like... Oh, he's, I'm picturing him just, like, in the library. He's, so like, this Jedi Temple. like, his origin story. This is, like, a straight up, like... Yeah, this, this is, like... This happens right before the movie. Yeah, before right the movie, before yeah. This is what he's doing right before the movie. So, basically... Yeah. He's like following these Jedi. He's like, I'm going to kill these MFers, but not today. Anyways, yeah. then he goes back to Sidious on Coruscant, and Sidious is like, uh, dude, I told you, like, stay away from the Jedi. Like, or I told you, stay away from the Jedi. Uh, that sounds <laughs> Yeah, that's a better impression. And he's like, Much dude, better. like, we got to wait. Like, we got to stay secret. Like, the next film is called Phantom Menace, not like Mantis out in the open. Oh, you know? we know who Darth Maul is Mantis? already. <laughs> Mantis. <laughs> Mantis the Boggin? Is that Darth Mantis? Mantis. Yeah. I like that. Mantis. So basically, so basically, um, so then in that same conversation, uh, Sidious sends Maul on a mission. He's like, hey, the Trade Federation is having some problem with some pirates. So, like, can you go there and, like, help them out? So then Darth Maul basically goes and he, like, murders all these pirates. And then this last, like, frog looking dude's like, oh, don't kill me, please. I. Oh, you want to find some Jedi? Like, I. He's like, I can tell you where some Jedi are. So then Darth Maul's like, all right, where? And then basically this green frog looking dude is like, oh, uh, yeah, there's this, this cartel boss, mistress lady, and she's holding, like, an auction. And she's captured a Jedi Padawan. So if you want to go find a Jedi, like, you can go there. <laughs> so basically. Darth Maul goes and like, okay, I need to find out where the... Because he really wants to fight Jedi. This is basically his whole thing. Is like, he hasn't got to fight Jedi. That's Darth his Sidious thing. isn't he like... He just likes fighting Jedi. Yeah, I gotta fight. I gotta fight him. I gotta prove that no, I'm the we'll, best. We'll get, I got so spikes basically, coming out of my head. Yeah, so basically he, he meets up with some bounty hunters. And then they're, they fly over to where they find out where it is. So on the reason... And then you see he does a meditation on the ship. Mm. And you see like his, mm. his force vision of all these... Jedi massacring the Sith. So this is like some history of the Jedi. And he remembers it also in Darth uh, Maul's head of Jedi massacring all these Sith. And he's like, I want revenge. And you can see like they have like those Kylo Ren. The Jedi have like Kylo Ren lightsabers. You know, so it kind of bring, brings more of the sequel trilogy in. So that's kind of cool. So that's kind of his motivation there, right? It's just like, uh, how we, how do we, okay, we got to. Ky- Kylo Ren's lightsaber is pretty, pretty <laughs> shitty. It's kind of like, he doesn't make it good, but it's an ancient Sith thing. No, that's what he's doing. He's doing the Sith thing. It's cool. <coughs> Check out these guys that look ugly. So they basically... The Sith are ugly because they're bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> so they basically arrive at the banquet. There's all these like fancy people there Ooh. and stuff. So then um, the hey. bounty hunters go off and do their thing, and then Darth Maul goes into the, into, like, the back, and he finds the Twi'lek Padawan, like, there, and he goes over to her, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna break you out, and, like, I'm gonna have you, and, like, I don't know what he was gonna do. He's gonna have her? 
Well, whatever he was going to do. I, we never find out because the that, lead mistress lady wait, comes now in. I am, I am assuming the Twi'lek is a lady. That is, yeah, it's a Twi'lek girl. It oh, is? Yeah. Okay. It's a, a female Padawan. So then the the mistress who is holding the auction sees Darth Maul back here. He's like, you can't be back here. Like, you've got to leave. <laughs> Where's your press badge? <laughs> yeah. So, but she doesn't, like, put him in one. jail or anything. She just, like, lets him leave. And he's like, he come, um, Darth Maul goes back to the bounty hunters. He's like, the plan didn't work. Like... Uh, you know, so then they come up with a new plan, and their new plan is basically wait until the auction's over, see who wins, and then just kill those people and take the Padawan chick, right? So then they do that. They it's basically s- James Bond. Yeah. I Okay, which James Bond? Is? One of the older ones. Okay. Where they wait around that. at an auction for like 15 minutes <laughs> waiting for stuff you to remember happen. Remember this, Carl? Yeah, totally. That was Mr. Uh, great scene. Uh-huh. So anyway, so they steal this Twi'lek padawan mm. and they're flying away but then the the auction lady shoots him down yeah. right and then they crash land on this planet mm. and then this this mistress chick is actually a really cool character and she has this idea it's like all right i already made money off these dudes who are dead and now i'm gonna make more money by organizing a hunt to see who can find darth maul and his bounty hunters and if you kill darth maul and his bounty hunters you get to keep the jedi padawan and the the um, you only have to buy in for like a million credits, and you can buy in for this hunt. So then, basically, we have this hunt. Why would you have to buy in for the hunt? Couldn't you just go try to find them anyways? Like, why would that matter? Well, she's like, can, she has them all in the auction. She just kind of says, you got to buy in for the hunt because she still owns the Jedi. She still owns the Padawan, I guess technically. So, anyways, you got all these like groups of bounty hunters. You got the Boss group. You got the IG88 group. You know, you just got all these cool bounty hunters. So that's bringing in the original trilogy, right? They, they're doing a lot of that. Yeah. It might not be Bosk. It might be his Well, yeah, uh, I father. know, but they're like... Yeah, I father. am... Bosk is my son. So anyways, now, like, Darth Maul is, like... In that's the how pat- they breathe. <laughs> Bosk, you need to close your mouth when you're breathing. So the Padawan is basically there with Maul and... And they're, like, by themselves. The bounty hunters are off fighting, like, the boss guys. Mm. So then, so then basically, they, like, team up. They team up, and they're, like, um, they're, like, fighting together, which is kind of cool to see. Because they have to, like, protect themselves first, because everyone's trying to kill them all. Right? So they, so the heat teams up with the Padawan. They just basically destroy people. A lot of murder. Just yeah. basically. I mean, I assume there's a lot of murder going on here. You say here. basically a lot, but this is a pretty long story for it to be pretty basic, so I don't... I'm not following. So where's You're the... You're not following? Um, what aren't so you following? So basically what... Are we at the... the basically. What's, where are we on the plot? Uh, what's the... Well, this the is like... This is scene? getting to the what's end. What's the big... What's the big reveal? So the big reveal yeah, is... Like the big reveal is they kill everybody and then they're fighting, right? And then... It sounds like Star Wars. Yeah, they have a light. He he finally fights a Jedi, probably preemptively. Was it a Padawan? A Padawan, yeah. That's but, not a Jedi. Yeah, Jedi or Padawan. He's like he wanted to make her like prove herself, which she did, and he like oh sure he defeats her, mm-hmm. and then as he should, right? Obviously, and then he goes back. Does he kill her? Yeah, he kills her. Of course, he's a yeah. he's, he's, a, he's, he's got spikes on his head. Padawan. Man. Of course, yeah, he, he stabs her. her in the stomach. Then he goes back to Sidious. Mm. And then, obviously, Sidious knew the whole time. Like, he thought he was being a secret. And then Sidious is like, are you satisfied? Did you get the bloodlust? Like, did it? was your bloodlust sated? And Maul's like, wait, you knew about it? And Sidious like, duh. And then Maul was like... I'm a Sith Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, then he and then Maul was like, play. oh, this was a test, and I failed. And Sidious is like, really? You failed? The Sith is all about defiance. Um, then he and then uh, Sidious is like, but I still want to know. Are you st- satisfied? And Maul's like, no. And Darth Sidious is like, good, 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 good. And that's it. That's how it ends. Yeah. So that's what do you cool. think? Uh, what do you guys think? Pretty about rad. That? Pretty rad. He's pretty evil. I mean, I mean, he should be. He's Sith, and you know, he's got spikes coming out of his head. Mm. Oh, oh, you should have said God. that. Like, oh my. God. God.